Hi guys, this is Wilson from Corfex Coffee and today we are going to look at the ECM Classica. So the ECM is a German based company but this machine is manufactured in Italy. So we have German engineering and Italian craftsmanship. The ECM Classica is a single boiler machine with a 750 ml insulated stainless steel boiler. In terms of its appearance, this machine features a polished stainless steel housing. So this machine weighs 18.5 kilograms, so it does not move when you are locking in the bottom filter. The machine dimensions, it is 25 cm wide, 45 cm deep and 40 cm tall. The ECM Classica features a patented E61 brew group, which is lever operated. And this brew group also provides us with an optional upgrade to an ECM E61 flow control valve. This upgrade option gives us an unlimited extraction styles to play around with. The flow control valve features a needle valve that allows us to control the flow rate from 10 ml per second down to around 1 ml per second. So we have the actual brew pressure that will be added into the system. As you can see from the video, the pump pressure shoots up straight to 9 bar, but the actual brew pressure takes a little bit of time after all the water has been filled up above the pump. This is very important as we will be able to know the actual brew pressure as opposed to what our pump is giving us. And for the steam one, it's a two-hole steam tip which is not operated. It's written over here, Aqua Vapor, which provides us with both steam dispensing and hot water as well. We have the PID which is located on the left bottom side of the machine and this PID is doubles up as a short timer as well and the body style is actually chrome plated which match the machine very well. We also have a pressure gauge on the left hand side above the PID which shows the brew pressure of the machine. So this machine features a toggle flick switches on the bottom left you can see the turn on off button for the machine with a green indicator light on the left hand side. And for the right hand side of the machine, you can see two more toggle flick switches. The top one, which gives us the control for the pressure or refilling of the boiler. And the bottom one, which is the steam mode. Towards the front, we have the removable drip tray which slides out towards the front. And on top of the machine, we have a passive cup warming tray, which is removable, exposing the expansion valve, allowing us to adjust the pump pressure. Towards the back of the top, we have a 2.8 liter water tank, which is also removable. Now let's take a look at the PID controller. In the sub menu, First, we have the control for the brew temperature. Next, we have the control for the steam temperature during the steam mode. And then, we have the eco mode, which automatically switches off the machine after a set time. Lastly, we have the adjustment for the clean indicator, prompting us to clean the machine after n number of shots. So let's go ahead and brew an espresso. For this, 
I'm using a different extraction style, simulating the londinium liver profile, which is essentially a pressurized pre-infusion. First, I am engaging the pump to quickly fill the head space above the puck, and then disengaging the pump while still allowing the brewing valve to remain open. After 10 seconds, I re-engage the pump to extract the shot. Do note that this technique works best with medium to medium dark rows and will not work for machines that automatically releases the pump pressure when the pump is disengaged. Let's see how milk steaming is like with this machine. So after the shot is complete, we switch over to the steaming mode, which raises the boiler temperature from 93 to 130 degrees Celsius. Although this machine does not have a boiler pressure gauge, 130 degrees Celsius will give us 1.3 bars. And then we release some water from the boiler to get a drier steam repeating this process twice. All right, so that's it for the introduction of the ECM Classica. So if you guys would like to know more about the machine, I would like to schedule an appointment to visit our showroom. Please do not hesitate to contact us, details up above. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.